smashing, positively dashing, spectacle the ascot opening day. At the gates of all the horses waiting for the queue to fly away. What a gripping, absolutely ripping moment at the ascot opening day. Horses rushing. and Henry, dear, I'm most provoked. I've heard that you're bringing a common flower girl from Covent Garden to my box. Oh, don't worry, darling. She'll be all right. I've taught her to speak properly, and she's got strict orders as to her behavior. She's to stick to two subjects, the weather and everybody's health, sort of fine day and how do you do. Just help her along, darling, and you'll be quite safe. Safe to talk about our health in the middle of a race? Yes, sir. She's got to talk about something. Henry, you're not even dressed for Ascot. I changed my shirt. You're a pretty pair of babies playing with your live doll. Oh, Mrs. Ainsford Hill. Oh, damn, are all these people with you? <laughs> Mrs. Higgins, is this your celebrated son? Oh, I've so longed to meet you, Professor Higgins. Whatever for? <laughs> I'm sorry to say my celebrated son has no manners. He may be the heart and soul of the Royal Society soirees, but he's, uh, Pretty trying on more commonplace occasions. Ah! Ah, oh, Colonel Pickering, you're just in time for tea. Thank you, Mrs. Higgins. May I introduce Miss Eliza Doolittle? My dear Miss Doolittle. How kind of you to let me come. Delighted, my dear. <clears throat> uh, Mrs. Ainsford Hill, Miss Doolittle. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> Uh, Lord and Lady Boxington, Miss Doolittle. How do you do? How do you do? <laughs> <coughs> uh, and Freddie Ainsford Hill. <laughs> How do you do? Uh, how do you do? <sighs> Miss Doolittle? Uh, good afternoon, Professor Higgins. <laughs> Well, the first race was very exciting, Mr. Little. 
I'm so sorry, you missed it. Oh. Will it rain, do you think? <clears throat> the rain in Spain <laughs> stays mainly in the plain. <laughs> but in Hartford, Hereford, and Hampshire, hurricanes hardly ever happen. <laughs> How awfully funny. And what is wrong with that, young man? I bet I got it right. <laughs> She's smashing. <laughs> Has it suddenly turned chilly? <laughs> oh, I do hope we won't have any unseasonably cold spells, which brings on so much influenza, and our whole family is susceptible to it. <laughs> My aunt died of influenza. <laughs> So they said, but it's my belief they done the old woman in. <laughs> done her in? Oh, yes, Lord love you. Why should she die of influenza when she come through diphtheria right enough the year before? Fairly blue with it she was. They all thought she was dead. But my father, he kept ladling gin down her throat. <laughs> then she come to so sudden that she bit the bowl off the spoon. Dear me. Now, what cause would a woman with that strength in her have to die of influenza? And what's become of her new straw hat that should have come to me? <laughs> Somebody pinched it. <laughs> and what I say is, them as pinched it done her in. <clears throat> done her in? Done her in, you say? Why, whatever does that mean? Uh, it's the new small talk. Uh, to do someone in means to kill them. Oh. Oh, surely you don't believe your aunt was killed. Uh, do I not? Them she lived with would have killed her for a hat pin, let alone a hat. But it can't have been right for your father to pour spirits down her throat like that. Well, it might have killed her. Uh, not her. Gin was mother's milk to her. <laughs> Besides... He poured so much of it down his own throat that he knew the good of it. Oh. <laughs> Do you mean that he drank? Drank? Oh, my word. Something chronic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what are you sniggering at? Oh, it's just the new small talk. You do it so awfully well. Well, if I was doing it proper, then what was you sniggering at? Have I said anything I oughtn't? Not at all, my dear. Oh. Well, that's a mercy, anyhow. What I oughtn't Now, they suppose see. we don't have time to place a bet before the next race. Come, my dear. I'm afraid oh. not, Colonel. Well, I have a bet in number seven. I should be so happy if you would take it. You'll enjoy the race ever so much more. That's very kind of you. His name is Dover. Now they're holding steady, they are ready for 